All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to talk about Christian Wood. Now, before I get into this video, if you enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that sub button. I really appreciate it. Really been doing this every day. Do it every day. I know you guys would like the content, so go check that out and uh, hit that sub button. But we're talking Christian Wood, man, and the last couple of days have been tough as far as Christian Wood content goes because NBA Twitter or not NBA Twitter Rockets Twitter has been playing around with the idea the possibility that Christian Wood could could be on the move at one point sooner than later and that is a very realistic idea and it's a very realistic possibility and it's something that everybody should at least look into and be aware of knowledge knowledgeable at my last two videos have been literally talking about possible Christian Wood trade hypotheticals. And it's funny because most people don't watch those videos and they'll say like a stupid ass comment before even watching the videos. I don't want to trade Christian Wood. So I want to talk about all the things I love about Christian Wood in today's video and just kind of talk out some of the issues I have or not issues, some of the concerns I have moving forward because Christian Wood is on one of the best contracts in the NBA and he is one of the league's most improved players while he did not win the award if he had not gotten injured and maybe his mojo wasn't stopped definitely could have i mean most 2k simulations that i've played in recently especially on next gen when i was just with swaggy i mean christian wood wins most improved every single season on the year, Christian Wood went 21 points, 9.6 rebounds, 1.7 assists, and 1.2 blocks. Now, he shot the ball from the field at a 58% clip, which is actually relatively low for him, considering the last two years were 64 and 61, but 58, by all means, is still very good. And then he shot five threes a game, making about 1.9 of them at a 37% clip. He's a 37% shooter, three-point shooter. That's one of the things I love about Christian Wood the absolute most. But if you guys have been watching me for a very long time, and by very long time, I mean probably seven months now, uh, I first started making Houston Rocket videos. And I started talking about Christian Wood. Christian Wood was one of the big reasons that I loved what the Rockets were going to have for him once the regular season started. And once the regular season started, I was not wrong. I said Christian Wood, 20 and 10, put it in pen. So, you know, I love Christian Wood, man. I love seeing him do well. He only played in 41 games this year. He had some nagging ankle issues, which is something that should be talked about. I feel like Christian Wood, that's what I'm going to take an eye on for majority of this next season. Yeah, it would be cool to see him improve in a couple of different areas which we'll talk about later on in the video but most importantly man I want to make sure Christian Wood can stay healthy because he has never really he's been on six NBA teams this is the first time he's ever started more than 12 games in a year and this is the first time he's ever averaged over more than 23.6 minutes per game and the year he played 23.6 minutes per game he only played eight times that season so that's the biggest thing for me looking at next year, Christian Wood, is can he stay healthy? Will he stay healthy? Was this just a bad year? Or is this actually somebody who is injury prone, who's got a bad ankle? I mean, he started off by rolling in and then it turned into a severe, severe injury issue. So that's something I'll monitor. But let's talk about Christian Wood because this guy has a 7'3 wingspan. He is very long. The NBA doesn't have too many guys like this. He is a knockdown shooter. He's got just raw power, elite finishing, highly efficient, and he's got some electrifying blocks. Now, Christian Wood is fun to watch, no doubt. My issue with Christian Wood, and this is what everybody's issue was with Christian Wood at the start of the season, was that he came into the season weighing only 214 pounds. And that is not, that's not an issue, but that's not, that became an issue. When Christian first came to the Rockets, we still had, I mean, technically we still had Russell Westbrook and James Harden, but they still had James Harden, John Wall, PJ Tucker. Christian Wood's role wasn't necessarily to play center. And you saw it a little bit in Detroit. He struggled at times playing center, but being 214, you're going to get shoved in the post. You're going to get out-rebounded. But that's just like every young big man in the NBA, except maybe DeAndre Ayton. Most 
NBA big men, especially or young NBA big men, most of them have this issue where they need to bulk up. They need to get more aggressive. The thing about Christian Wood is he is extremely athletic. He's extremely long. And so you don't really necessarily want to lose that speed. You don't want to lose that athleticism. Christian Wood, my my concern is that this dude is just not a center. And I've wanted the Rockets to get a center to match him with so many different times because Wood's going to get bodied every single game. He's going to get beat up every single game playing that five position when why not just go out, draft, free agent, trade for a center who will take those beatings, much like what P.J. Tucker was doing until he got traded away. So the way I see Christian Wood on defense is more of a stat-stuffing defender, not like a commander on defense, not like a Rudy Gobert stifle tower. It's more of that stat stuffing won't wreck the system, but he really just where he provides his value is offensively. It's not so much defensively. Like I said, he'll have some good blocks. He'll have some electrifying blocks. But as far as just being that lockdown in the paint, that's not who he is. And that's not his role. That's that's not what Christian Wood's game is. And that's my concern moving forward with the Rockets is I feel like that's kind of what they almost want him to be like. Even if they don't want him to be like that and they want to still go small-ish ball and have Christian play center, that's what ends up happening. Because you play these guys like Nurkic, like Cat, like Gobert, like Bam, like Jokic, where you're they're just much bigger than you. And you got to take that beating every single night, night in and night out. And these GMs don't understand the concept of that. So the way I see Christian Wood moving forward is obviously on offense. I mean, he has tremendous value. I think Christian Wood is a super good third option on a championship level team. And that is why I do not want to pay Christian Wood max. And I've made a couple of videos about trading Christian Wood. Now, obviously, just because he wants Max doesn't mean he's going to get Max. So we'll see how this season goes. We'll see if he can improve offensively because his game teams did start to read him a little bit more like a book towards the end of the season when they kind of realized that he's only got a couple of different shots in the post game. But he's going to hit the lab. He's going to hit the gym. He's mentioned that several times, which is a, the best part about it is how he's said how much he's going to work and how much he wants to be that franchise player. So I honestly don't think that there's going to be anything wrong with Christian Wood moving forward. I just hope he can get to that next step, that second option, that first option for the sake of him, for the sake of his game, because it would be awesome to have just like a superstar talent on your team. And We'll kind of assess year by year. He's still only 25 years old. So start of the season next year, probably at the trade deadline is when you'll start to get a better evaluation of Christian Wood and what it's going to look like moving forward. But like I said, man, he's extremely young. This is the first season he had ever started. So I wouldn't get too nervous. I wouldn't get panicky or jittery or anything like that. I'm not trying to install fear into your guys' brain saying like, man, he's going to want 30 million. We need to trade this guy ASAP. If he plays like a $30 million player guy, he'll make $30 million. If he doesn't, he won't. It's that simple. It's the market. It's the NBA. Not any worry. There's not any need for some concern. It should really just be excitement because we have this guy on our team at such a cheap deal, and he can help us win basketball games. So let's just hope he puts in the work that he says he's going to do, and let's see how he comes out next year, man. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Hit that sub button. I'll see you guys tomorrow.